Welcome to Indian Tech Guru for you. Today we will be discussing APTET previous paper regarding computer science paper 2. First question function overloading is done at function overloading is generally done at the compile time. Function overriding is done at the runtime. Function overloading means in the same class there will be two different functions which will vary either in the number of parameters or in the type of parameters. They will be residing in the same class. Whereas function overriding means the functions will be residing in two different uh, classes. That is one function in the super class, another function in the subclass. They will also contain the same name, the same function name. However, they will be in two different classes and uh, which function need to be executed is decided at runtime rather than the compile time. So the answer is function overloading is done at compile time. Second question OLAP OLAP is an acronym for OLAP means online analytical processing. Online analytical processing. Online analytical processing is used in data warehousing and uh, it is basically used for online transactions uh, to be accessed from client to server. So the answer is online analytical processing. Third question is architectural design involves in software engineering. So architectural design is drawn using either ER diagram, flowchart, algorithm or DFT. So ER diagram is basically used to provide the relationship between entities, different entities. It is generally used in the database management system to establish relationships between uh, database tables, database table entities. So it is not used for architectural diagram. Flowchart means it contains uh, certain flow symbols such as the start, processing symbol, as well as conditional symbol to show the flow of execution of a particular program. So it is also not used for architectural design. Algorithm means it is a sequence of steps to execute a particular program. It also does not uh, represent the architectural design. So the DFD data flow diagram data flow diagram actually is used to show the architectural design of uh, software engineering which contains uh, different levels of the data flow data flow such as level 0 level 1 level 2 and so on so the answer is dfd fourth question an edp auditor must be an expert in here edp means electronic data processing Electronic data processing is done basically between two business organizations uh, entirely electronically. So an electronic data processing auditor must have, must be an expert in uh, computerized business systems uh, so that uh, their businesses uh, can interact uh, electronically and perform the operations. So the answer is A. computerized business systems next question number five if no exception is thrown then what happens so generally there will be a try block and there will be a catch block if at all some exception arises in try block then catch block will be uh, the, the code in the catch block will be executed if there is no exception then uh, it will not come into the catch block code so the answer is all catch blocks coded will be bypassed it is going to bypass all the catch blocks and whatever the code exists after the catch block that will be executed let us see the remaining answers a catch block will cause an error no it is not true if there is no exception in try block nothing happens in the catch block the first catch block coded will execute that is not correct if there is no exception then no catch block will be executed. The last catch block coded will be ex will execute. That is also not correct. 
because if there is no exception no catch block code will be executed so the answer is d all catch blocks coded will be bypassed next sixth question consider the following pseudo code if a is greater than b and c is greater than d then a equal to a plus 1 b equal to b plus 1 and if so to find the uh, the cyclomatic cyclomatic complexity of the pseudo code is they have asked the cyclomatic complexity to find the cyclomatic complexity of the given pseudo code first of all we need to draw the flow graph we need to draw the flow graph okay let us draw the flow graph for the given code the first condition is if a is greater than b if this condition is true then we need to check one more condition that is if c is greater than d if this condition is false then we have to go to the exit point okay if uh, this condition is also true if c is greater than d is also true then we need to determine the transactions what are the transactions a equal to a plus 1 b equal to b plus 1 if uh, a is greater than b is true but uh, c is greater than d is false then directly go to the exit point after updating a value b value go to the exit point so now how to calculate the cyclomatic complexity the formula for uh, calculating the cyclomatic complexity is e minus n plus 2 into p here e represents the number of edges how many edges are the here 1 2 3 4 and 5 totally five edges are there so number of edges are 5 and uh, n represents number of nodes how many nodes are here 1 2 3 4 four nodes are here and uh, p represents number of exit points how many exit points are here there are only one exit point so now substitute in the formula 5 minus 4 into 2 into 1 4 plus 2 into 1 5 minus 4 1 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3 so the answer is b 3 next the seventh question which of the following testing methods is normally used as an acceptance test for a software system so acceptance test is carried out as a final test to verify whether the requirements of a particular software product are met or not so initially unit test will be carried out and then integration test and then finally the acceptance test so this is the final test to be carried out acceptance test is the final test to be carried out whether the requirement analysis are met or not so for acceptance test what we are going to perform we are going to perform the functional testing whether all the functions that are available in the particular product are in the working condition or not so the answer is functional testing the testing we are going to carry out during the acceptance test is functional testing answer is d next eighth question simple question match the following the beginning of the function code the beginning of the function code is left braces the preprocessor directive always starts with the preprocessor directive always starts with the hash hash include the symbol for the address operator ampersand the name of the function always ends with the the name of the function always ends with the parenthesis so what is the mapping now the beginning of the function code 1 is mapped to 
2 is mapped to the preprocessor directive hash 4 3 is mapped to the symbol of the address operator 2 and 4 is mapped to the name of the function always ends with parenthesis 1 1 3 2 4 3 2 4 1 See here what is the answer then 1 3 2 4 3 2 4 1 so the answer is B next ninth question again match the following first uh, data link layer so data link layer what it does data link layer detects uh, and recovers the errors in the transmitted data it is going to detect and recover errors in the transmitted data here we are going to use the error correcting codes so one is mapped to three physical layer physical layer what it is going to perform the lowest layer whose functions is to activate deactivate and maintain the circuit between dte and dce so here it represents the lowest layer the lowest layer is physical layer we already know so you forget about the remaining thing because it has been given as the lowest layer so it must be mapped to physical layer so 2 is mapped to 1 and 3 presentation layer presentation layer provides the syntax for the data syntax for the data so 3 is mapped to 4 and network layer network layer performs the routing operation performs the routing okay so 4 is a map to 2 so what is the answer 1 3 2 1 3 4 4 2 now see where it is mapped 1 2 sorry 1 3 2 1 3 4 and 4 2 so it is in uh, a so the answer is a next tenth question is also match the following first order of log n so first let us consider heap sort dfs binary search bubble sort if you consider heap sort heap sort uh, complexity is order of n log n heap sort complexity is order of n log n next if you consider depth first search depth first search uh, complexity is order of n next consider if you consider binary search binary search complexity is order of log n if you consider bubble sort the complexity is order of n square so what should be the answer answer is a 1 3 2 2 3 1 and 4 4 if you like this video subscribe this channel for getting more videos like this and all the remaining questions will be uploaded very soon and like this several model papers will be uploaded stay tuned thank you